Hi, it's me on Seven Gymnastics Girls, and today I am going to show you a hair tutorial for a hairstyle in gymnastics. So let's get started. <laughs> First, what you're going to do is you're going to take a brush and you want to get your hair wet. So I recommend putting water on the brush. So shake it out, push, brush all your hair back. Keep brushing until there's no knots. And when you have it back, take your comb that you need to take out the parts of your bangs. So if you have don't have bangs, it's okay. It works for this too. You can take some of your hair from the very middle and put them as your bangs. So what you want to do is you want to make your hair even. So right now my hair is even. You see it? You want this little part that's right here to make form your hair. Let's brush those out and let's brush the rest that doesn't go there. And the brush the rest of your hair down. And then you're gonna take a little hair tie elastic. I dropped a brush. And you wanna put it in your hair. Doesn't matter how much how tight, just matters so it doesn't fall out. So what we're gonna do we're gonna take the bangs. So I'm gonna show you from the side. And what you wanna do is start it from the very end of the other side. So if you want them on the right, or do you want them on the okay, or do you want them on this side or any side, but any side works. So you're gonna start where so the other side of where you're not placing them. See that crease right there that I made? Let's get that back there. And you want to take it and you want to start from the very forward part of it and start twisting so it has a nice settled twist. So it's tight and you can do it as tight as it needs to be. And you want to keep twisting and to keep twisting. And then you want to take a bobby pin and pin it from the back. And I need two so it stays. There. Now you have a solid, unmovable twist. Now let's take out the hair and let's part it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a big chunk, you're going to take a chunk like this and put it over to the side. And make it so it's even enough so your twist does not get bothered. So I had to put another button in. So let's take your comb. You want a comb. Grab the wrong thing. Oops. And you want to be able to take that middle piece and from it and be able to make a straight creasable line. So it might not be the sh there. There we go. On that side. Let's do it from that side. And there. Now as you can see, it's in this it dropped a piece. It's in the center of your hair. So as you can see, as I'm holding it up, I'm going to take my brush from the back and brush it, but tease it. Tease it from the back and then brush it up so you have it all and then brush it in the front and turn around or I have to turn around and tease it from the back and place it down. So now you have a little bump. So now you have that little bump in your hair and what you want to do with it is you want to grab it. Well, you want to make sure it's placed down. Grab all the hair you teased. And you want to take a brush and you want to brush it out real quick. So it's soft and it's ready to go. Then you want to tease it. And what you're going to do is you're going to tease it from every place. And you're going to throw it in the back of your hair. And as you see, you're going to take a little spot. And you want to make a bump. So, 
my hair isn't even. So if it's not, if it doesn't look even, take a little bit off. And then make a little bump. And take bobby pins, like push it up so it makes that little form of a bump. Take another bobby pin, cross, cross it like this so it makes a cross. And then put the rest of your hair down. So as you can see now you have your hair on a little a bump, but also with a twist. I didn't push that in. So make sure it has like a little bump. If you need to, you can push it up. And then there. So now, what I do is I make sure everything's tight. So I make sure, because these bobby pins sometimes fall out, or where you place the hair. So sometimes if you need to, take the bobby pins out, take the bobby pins out, and as you see you still have the twist, just if it falls apart, it's okay, don't worry, just make sure you, you are ready for it, and place these bobby pins as tight, and put it, pull this and put the bobby pins so they're tight. So as you're pulling, put the bobby pins as tight as you can in them and push it so it's so it's tight out in the skin. So it's like stable to your head, not really, but so it stays. Then you want to take your hair and brush it. See, when I put it into a side pony, I always have this little piece that hangs off. And that's okay. Because if you have a little piece, it's not going to hurt you. So let's keep that piece hanging. And let's take this whole, the rest of your hair. Take it up. Hair tie. You can see it. And tight. Make it tight. So it doesn't fall out while you're doing gymnastics. Pull it. There. There's your hairstyle. Then what you want to do with this little piece. Let's put it over here for a second. Because so what you can do is you can take it and sometimes you can get it wet so it's easier to pull back. You can pull, make it pull back, take it, twist it so it has a twist, and then take a bobby pin and pin it back. So it stays and it's a good look. Sometimes hair falls out, so be careful. And always be ready for it. And it's always nice when you go to gymnastics is to have elastic around your hand. So if you need to, you have one just in case. That's my hairstyle for gymnastics. Sorry it took so long. But it's okay. It was about eight minutes. And it's a simple, it's a simple so let's say, I have water all over my thing. But let's say if you have extra time, here we go. So, and I'm also going to show you, since we, if you want to watch, you want to keep watching, I'm going to show you a makeup tour. So, as you can see, I have makeup on now. Not as much. So, if you have makeup, and you want to make sure you look okay. Because you know, when you get all sweaty, you know, you want to look okay. So, if you have one of these, or any color, pick your favorite color. So I'm going to do brown because that's my favorite color for my eye. Then you want to take it and put it as neatly on your eye and form your eye. As you form it, it shows a little more bling and then bling, I don't know what he said. But like some like inform it. And there. So as you can see they're formed. And then if you wear eyeliner or any of that, well make sure your eyelashes are not so dark. Just the right amount so you look good. And if you want to, take some mascara.
brush it off a little bit so it's not clumpy. And there. And then you can go. And you can go. As you can see, no clumps. And what I use is extra wow last. Well, extra. Here, let's get extra well lash. So you make it big and bold. And if you need to, if you have like those pimple spots, if you're older, take a little bit of the white or any color that matches your skin tone and cover up those little marks and it looks like part of your skin. No, this makeup will not fade or go away during practice unless you sweat a lot. And then there, I'm done. Hi, again, my name is Madison and I just showed you guys a great way to get ready for gymnastics. Even though I didn't get dressed, it's still nice to be ready. Thanks for watching and hope my hairstyle got the best that it could do. Even though it's not perfect, it's still good to practice it. Thanks for watching. Comment down below on my next video. Bye!